26th of November 2018 external paper uh, let me go to the instructions quickly the instructions is create the spreadsheet below insert the header examination number left aligned and question 7a right aligned in capital letters so this is a very basic question spreadsheet that you need to create so I've typed in the heading and that and as I go back over here I'm by the section over here by the open row name goes into a8 so let's just do that quickly because most of the learners type the information in the incorrect cells so this would be in capital letters normal time in one cell normal time in one cell hours worked and I have a name on the side I've got tariff per hour and I have overtime over here in capital letters hours worked so I've typed all the information that is required and um, I can see over here by the last row uh, the last cell that this is cut off so to increase my column width I put my cursor between the column headings A and B my cursor changes and I drag that across Otherwise, all is well on the side over here. Everything is typed in. I've proofread the information. So I'm going to go back to insert my examination number. So you can click on insert and header. And my header should be examination number, which is your ID number, which is left aligned in capital letters, of course. But num your examination number would be, of course, in, in numbers there. Eh? tab tab again and question 7a I've done display the figures as indicated I have displayed the figures adjust the column width that's what I've done now to fit on one page uh, save the spreadsheet as question 7a save the spreadsheet in print the spreadsheet in portrait orientation without without row and column headings and place the printout in your examination folder so if I go to file print by default it is without row and column headings how do I insert row and column headings so this is without so this you will print it's on one page you're gonna have a look over here it's on one page always make sure it's printed on one page I would go to page setup I would go to sheet and row and column headings so they are saying without I'm just indicating to you now how to print with so if I tick row and column headings I click OK and that is row and column headings so if they say without row and column headings they are not saying delete your headings they are saying printed as it is by default without row and column readings. Thank you. This is 7A, 7B will follow short.